everyone, so my name is Michelle Caldera. I am 16 years old. I go to the Miranda Liceum and I'm a part of the STEM Access for Girls community where, I, where I'm part of the Youth Advisory Board. Um, so I heard about the Inno Starter program from my sister. I think she saw the flyer or from Julie herself and she thought it was a good idea for me to join and I agreed with her to broaden my skill set and to learn a little bit out of my comfort zone. So I signed up right away and four months later I'm still. So in the beginning um, we started online um, learning the basics of what we needed to know to further our skills and what we actually needed to start building actual physical circuits and everything so um we started with simple codes like how to turn on a lid or how to push a little button with using tinkercad and it it was quite a journey learning to code. I think in the beginning it was a little hard if you it didn't practice enough because that's you should really practice to understand what you're doing and um, putting that into work or how you can use it in other scenarios I would say. And then we started coming to the lab to build our physical circus from what we learned online. Um, that was fun as well, so we started building like old, um, stuff with our ultrasonic sensors and just building up to our final project which would be a rover. We could also like put our own little ideas which we could find online or anything to you know get something out of our own head so you can see your creation. And we also learned about 3D designing. We built this little ultrasonic case here and put a little Christmas hat on it. I thought it was really fun. It was also my teammate Amara's her idea. And I liked working as a team, it, which I don't usually like, but it was fun. And um, yeah, so this is our rover. We started building it so we could carry something in the little like space behind it so if your hands are full you can it can follow you and bring your stuff for you and also as a little companion because it doesn't always listen that's always the hard part because it's very disobedient <laughs> it if you have it that has something to do with the code if you don't get everything you want to put in the code it doesn't always listen to you so I think a challenging part for me was the code, figuring out what to put in there and what what was actually needed or not. But with the help of Mr. Theo and Miss Julie, I think we figured it out just to have it follow you. Yeah. Yeah, I would advise it to others. Um, it's fun, like you learn something new. If you haven't coded before, it's it can be challenging, but you have to pull through I guess like um see if if this is for you it sh it sure won't be for everyone but you'll definitely learn something and make new friends out of it so this is the ultrasonic sensor and this is the servo motor these two are the DC motors used to make it drive and in the back we have the battery pack to power it up and the LEDs also using a resistor inside we have the Arduino Uno a breadboard and a motor driver 